an extremely exciting rod. This is probably the most exciting rod that uh, Kingfisher and Dow itself has actually brought out here in, in South Africa specifically. Um, the wait is finally over. Everybody's been asking questions, everybody's been phoning, emailing. This is the Dawa tournament. Now, let's start at uh, the models. We've got two models at the moment. It's a 14 foot 6 and a 15 foot. They are three piece uh, designs. They are both the heavy version, so the 6 to 8 ounce. So very similar to your, your Elite. But unlike the Elite, this has got every top end component, every top end technology that's gone into the carbon, the design, everything. It's just, it's a phenomenal piece of work. It's actually a work of art, this thing. So, starting with that, you've got your X45 graphite. Now, as, you, as I mentioned, the, the Elite's got that in the joints itself. This has got X45 all the way through. So now your traditional mandrels that they used, or the, the way they built the rods, was to fold the graphite round, and you actually got a spine that formed. The problem with that is that you can get twisting of the rod itself. So now, what the X45 is, is that the graphite is woven over itself at 45 degree angles, and that allows you to have no twist in the rod at all. Also with that, you get extremely, extremely fast recovery. So, you know when you cast a rod and you see it go, it whips like that. So some, like, some of the car rods and whatnot, they don't have a faster recovery because you want the slower bend, it's all in, in the design. This is designed specifically for that quick little crisp recovery. So very, very fast action. Now, to that they also have your SVF Nano Plus, um, which is the way that the carbon has been rolled out. Um, basically, it's as you get higher up um, in the spectrum, sort of in the price range as well, of the rods, you're going to get the, the carbon, the, the resin that's in the carbon fibers actually rolled out. So the less resin it's got in, the lighter the rod is. Also, it responds very, very quickly because it's just that the resin sometimes gives a bit of a slow reaction. But much, much. Okay, to that, we have standard Fuji Real Seat, so top, top end quality. We've got the original Barnick Finger, which a lot of rods you'll see come out now, they state that they've got a Barnick Finger. It's not the original, it's a cheap knockoff copy, and you do get components breaking on them, the, the wires pulling out, all sorts. This, the original Barnick Finger. To that, we have your K-Series guides. Now, your Elite has got K-Series on the first, and then the anti-tangle concept guides further on. These are K-Series, all the way through. The top end guides, very, very good for your braid, not going to, to damage it, cuts it, anything like that. On top of that, we've got, on the joints themselves, they spigot joints. Now the spigot allows us to keep the rod a lot, lot thinner. I'll show you that in a second. Um, and the technology that goes into this is called V-joint. So the spigot actually flexes. So as opposed to a rod where you don't have a V-joint, the V-joint technology or a flexible spigot, you're going to have a rod that goes bends and gets the spigot and you have a flat spot that forms. So you get a rod that goes up, flat, curve, flat, back to the tip. So that's obviously detrimental, it's then a weak point, it doesn't bend nicely, it doesn't feel right in the hand. This eliminates that. As I mentioned, the, the thickness of the rod, that tip there, that's a 6 to 8 ounce tip and it's that thin. That's the, the power of the X45 graphite and the, the SVF. You're allowed to have a tip at that, that's that thin, very, very quick, recovers nicely. It's just, the, the amount of technology that's gone into this rod is just phenomenal. The catches you guys have seen on Facebook, you've seen on YouTube, um, Jace, Rock, all of our guys are using them. They are having phenomenal results. The, we thought the Elite was the top of the pops. Now, that was gone and done one better, which doesn't mean the Elite's not a good rod. It still has its place, but this is now the new king. Onto that as well, not that this wasn't enough of a selling point, you get a phenomenal bag. Now it doesn't seem like much, um, bags generally are an afterthought. What this guy does have is individual compartments that are padded, um, got a padded side, so it's still flexible enough that it can, it's, it's soft, takes the knocks nicely, but it's got individual slots, slots like that, the rod fits in. And they're not sleeves. Now you often get a pouch that's got sleeves in it. You get your rod, there's a little bit of salt build up, you shove it into the sleeve, it builds up in the sleeve, you don't see it, you clean your rod and you get home, put it back in, you get rust and corrosion forming. Now this eliminates that because everything's open. 
it's all there it's still protected still padded it still fits nicely but it doesn't have that that um sort of closed area where you're getting the the salt board up where you can't see it so yeah guys very very exciting rod as i said two models 14 6 and 15 foot it's going to be up to you as to which one you want to go for but go into any of your leading tackle stores preferably one of our kingfisher ones because we have them at the moment some guys are still waiting for stock and have a feel of this rod pick it up it is phenomenally light and extremely extremely powerful the Dawa tournament cheers